Next, let's welcome Danny Allen, scientist in the field of bed bugs. 1969, New York City. I was 13. It was like any other day. <gasps> oh my god. Luckily, I had the solution at arm's reach. But something went horribly wrong. mentioned that the pesticides were unable to kill the bed bugs. So what? How does that become a danger to us? Bed bugs have been around for a long time and they have brought influences to many old communities. For example, ancient Egypt. The Egyptian sun allowed them to burrow deep down in the tombs of decomposing pharaohs. Then came the era of bedbugs during World War II. Day after day, soldiers fought both on the fields as well as within the confines of their own tents. These bedbugs, by hiding in soldiers' clothes and shoes through the movement of soldiers, helped them spread and multiply. In 1939, a Swiss chemist, Paul Hermann Muller, discovered the pesticide DDT. In the 50s, DDT was introduced to bedbugs and other bug populations. These populations began to decrease rapidly, and DDT helped keep America's homes and hotels bedbug-free. However, starting from 2000, pesticide-resistant bedbugs have made their entrance. As time moved on, complaints about bedbugs rapidly increased as well. In 2009, there were 11,000 reported complaints in New York City alone. This was mainly because bedbugs started to evolve and become immune to pesticides used in homes. The bedbug's exoskeleton has evolved to be 15% stronger than it was 20 years ago. There are genes inside of the bedbug that encodes proteins and other enzymes that helps the bedbug become immune to insecticides, either by degrading the pesticide or by preventing it from penetrating its body. This biological evolution means that mutated bedbugs are able to reproduce at a fast rate in the status quo. In this model, the green bedbugs are the ones that aren't mutated, while the brown bugs are the ones that are mutated. As time moves on, and as the usage of pesticides starts to increase, the non-mutated bedbugs slowly die out. However, the mutated bedbugs are unaffected and they continue to reproduce. However, even in the face of bedbugs evolving to become stronger, DDT companies such as the Montrose Chemicals continue to promote it as the one and only way to eradicate bedbugs due to their profit incentive. You said DDT companies cause bedbugs to evolve. So what are some other methods we could use? To be frank, we can't stop the evolution of bedbugs. All we can do is slow their evolution and stop them from evolving into unkillable monsters. We should decrease the usage of artificial pesticides so the bedbug will not have the opportunity to develop resistance to more chemicals. Using methods such as high temperature sterilization, in other words, washing clothes and bed sheets or baking them in the sun would be able to kill them. And this is the end of my speech. Thank you for listening.